this to there we go we are live what is up everybody papa west jacob west entering onto for the first time ever uh i did some gccs because alex asked me very nicely to do some gccs and then adelaide didn't ask me nicely to join singles they just they just threw me in here so i guess i'm here so let's go uh x-men mutant and proud means absolutely nothing but it's a cool shirt so i'm wearing it today let's go okay making my debut in uh until pretty excited uh i kind of feel bad for uh jacob for the movie that i gave him because i know it's not for everyone but maybe he enjoyed it i don't know i don't really know his movie taste but yeah this should be fun let's go well, this is going to be a weird one. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Opening Night Trivia, the only show on the internet that is regularly hosted by a psychopath. Um, that's me. I'm Alex, and with me is the person that is supposed to try and keep me on a handle, uh, Matthew Chen. Matthew, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Um, I'm fantastic. Kind of worried because, as per usual, I have not seen either of the Deep Cut movies. That's not my job here. I do the talkies. Yeah. Um, but Luckily, we I have... have... <laughs> yeah. We have that, yeah. It's a, that's why you're here, uh, mm -hmm. to answer questions about stuffs. Um, we have a debut match, it is Dylan versus uh, Jacob, affectionately known as Papa West. Um, who is not per usually not, he's like not holding a kid right now, so it's genuinely distracting for me. And Dylan, who I don't know at all, so I feel very guilty making jokes, I don't know what his like line is. So we're going to get started here. It's a debut matchup. So introducing first, making his Antle singles debut, it is Jacob West. E. West, excuse me. And his opponent also making his Antle singles debut, it is Dylan Van Thine. Hey. All right. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Antle. Don't worry. The snacks are not provided. So round one will be like this. We have 10 questions from 10 different categories of movie trivia. You'll get one point for correct answer, 15 seconds, or about the time it takes me to finish a joke. We will then be asked to show your board as well. Say your answer out loud. Uh, we, You have pipes. I know it. Um, if you get all 10 questions right, that would be pretty cool. And uh, you'll get all those 10 points as well as the availability of a bonus question. And I will do exactly one dab on camera. That hasn't happened yet, but we'll see. We'll see. It's a long season. Uh, are there any questions? No. Nope. Great. So uh, with question number one, I will turn it over to my co-host. Right. Yeah. Your first question is in recent releases. Bronco Henry is the name of the receipt. <laughs> oh, <I'm sure. laughs> Sorry. That was my alarm. Fuck. <laughs> Totally that up. Uh, Matthew struck the question Maybe over again. We'll probably edit that out. <laughs> probably edit that I'll, out. I'll go back to the start. Okay. All right. In the category of recent releases, Bronco Henry is the name of the deceased mentor to the main character in which 2021 film? So how about those Broncos? I don't know anything about sports. <laughs> I also do not know anything about sports. This is, a, this is mostly a space for like gifted nerds. Um, but I like to throw a sports every in there every now and then just to see who all really lights up. So far, only Jake Meltzer. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. We'll start with Dylan. Boogie, I don't know. And we will go to Jacob. I like sports. Mortal Kombat. Both of those are incorrect. We were looking for the power of the dog. Oh, shit. Yep. Uh, so no sweet dabs right away um, your second question will come from the category of music music films what music film features the characters Rosalie Mullins Ned Schneebly and Dewey Finn what you say your favorite music film is um, that's a good question that's the expert I... Don't want to say anything in case it's yeah. the answer. Sure, that's fair. Um, I probably will ask it next time, so I'll give you just a little bit longer to think. Because mm -hmm. I mean, it's probably this one. Honestly, <laughs> we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Jacob. Uh, we're gonna start with Jacob, actually. 
I didn't Rocky Horror Picture Show. I didn't finish the show. Um, and Dylan. School of Rock. School of Rock is correct. Uh, so we get to the next question. All right. Your next question is in movie release dates. South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut was released in what year? School of Rock is one of my top, <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite music films. Yeah. Uh, another one would be like Once. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I maintain this opinion about School of Rock that probably the ki- like the kid, the guitar kid, probably should have sung the final song just to really bring him around. But that's the only thing that I would change about the movie. Look at you. You will all agree. That's crazy. That's a great opinion we all share now. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. Uh, Dylan. 1999. And Jacob. 1998. The correct answer is the year of our Lord, 1999. So Dylan will take a two-point lead uh, as we get to our next question, which will come from the category of crime. Sandra Bullock's character from Ocean's 8 has what relation to Danny Ocean? Would you say that you'd frequently perform a crime? Um, uh, I can't say because just in case someone out there hears, uh, don't want to get caught. Wouldn't it be amazing if one of the 20 people that watched this show was actually in law enforcement? Like besides <laughs> like, like Mr. Joseph Farrelly, who is a cop, and you should all know that. Um, <laughs> you should all know that in case he's watching. Um, wouldn't it be amazing? I'm just gonna say it. Five. We're, we're all out of Joe's jurisdiction, so it's three, okay. Two, <laughs> one. I don't think that's true at all. Pens are down. Uh, Jacob. Uh, aunt. And Dylan. I believe she's his sister. Sister is correct. Three point lead for Dylan now. Your next question is. In romance, which 2014 Nicholas Sparks adaptation stars Michelle Monaghan, James Marsden, and Luke Bracey? Everything that I know about crime is something that I don't know about romance. (laughs) (laughs) I would do so much better. This is why I don't actually play in singles anymore, or Warzone, (laughs) or anything. (laughs) Give me my sweet, sweet geek shit and then leave me alone (laughs) leave me out of it i might watch an oscars movie if you really have me do it we're gonna go in five four three two one pens are down uh (laughs) had to dylan i got nothing and jacob i said hop uh both of those are incorrect the correct answer was the best of me Classic film, probably. Yes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, we go now to your sixth question, probably, uh, which will be from the category of Westerns. Who directed the 2007 version of 310 mm-hmm. to Yuma? I have to ask, if you could get on a 310 to anywhere, where would you go? Um... <laughs> Let's just go to Yuma, I guess. I've heard it's lovely this time of year, probably. <laughs> uh, once again, I haven't seen it. Maybe it sucks. I don't know. I also haven't. <laughs> I wasn't there. I don't know. Maybe it's great. We're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Thumbs are down. Jacob. Roland Emmerich. And Dylan. James Mangold. James Mangold is correct. Okay. Your seventh question in sports. 1978's Heaven Can Wait centers around what sport? Should I do the, I did the the sports thing just like a little bit too early cuz now what are we going to talk about with like sports? I don't know. We'll probably go back to the like the music thing. We can you go know, back like to the, music. Yeah. What's yeah. Your... What's your favorite band? Like, what do you what do you listen to like right now? Um, uh, that's a good question. I 
don't actually have a favorite band because I just listen to like a very broad. That's cool. That's cool. I respect that. We're going to go five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. Uh, Dylan. American football. And Jacob. Track and field. American football specifically is correct. <laughs> uh, it's also what we have in our document because I think I messed that up one time. Um, great. Uh, Dylan has a five point lead. Uh, Jacob is not on the board yet, but it could still happen because there's a lot of game. Um, as we get to the next category, which is comic book movies. Uh, in 1989's Batman, who plays reporter and love interest Vicky Vale? Something in your wheelhouse, finally. You get to ask about. Yes. I mean, I was like thrilled with the School of Rock question. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, not a big Batman fan. So it's kind of a wash. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing if I was held in this community completely against my will? Sometimes I feel like it. <laughs> Um, because definitely Adelaide is the person holding me against my will. Uh, but I guess like Kirk is also not doing it, which is crazy because I've never met him except for like once. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. Um, Jacob, I completely blanked on her name, so totally fine. Dylan, Kim Basinger. Is that how it's said? Yep, that is correct. Kim Basinger, Basinger, Basinger. Family guy joke. Yeah, I think that's not, that's right. Maybe. I don't know. Um, all right. So your penultimate question in scores and soundtracks. Who composed the scores to How Green Was My Valley, All About Eve, and How the West Was Won? Not to put any pressure on Jacob, but he should probably try and get this right. Because if if I have to do like the knockout math, is gonna be is gonna be this is gonna be a long video. Because I'm not gonna lie, I suck at numbers. Um, so if you could just, I I would really appreciate it. You say that like I haven't been trying at all. No, I just I'm rooting for you, and I'm bad at I mean, math. I started at question four. Let's be honest. But... <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens are down. Uh, Jacob? James Newton Howard. Uh, Dylan? Is it Bernard Herman? Both are incorrect. We were looking for Alfred Newman. All right. And for your 10th and final question, there will be no dabs in this round number one. We go to family films. Should be cool. Uh, your question in James and the Giant Peach, Susan Sarandon voices what kind of creature? The the only subject I ever failed in school was with was like math based stuff. Um, and shockingly, once you leave school, you don't really have a reason to learn or keep up with math skills. So, stay in school, kids, or. <laughs> Or get good at math, or never use it again. Honestly, as an adult, very few reasons to to like multiply or divide. Unless just saying. Or, yeah, just saying. I'm just gonna say it. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens are down for the final time in this round. We go to Jacob. You have a spider. And Dylan. A spider. A spider is correct. Jacob is on the board at the very last second of round number one. Uh, at the end of round number one, I have the score at 7-2-1. Is that what you have, Matthew? Yes, that's what I have. Spectacular. Um, all right, as we go to round number two, where I might have to do a little bit of math, but hopefully not. Um, each of these wonderful players have selected a movie. Uh, we're going to be asking questions about that movie. Five questions worth two points if it is the opposing player's movie. Uh, one point if it is the movie that they selected. I think I got that right. Uh, Dylan, you are in control of the board. Uh, your film is Titan. Jacob's film is Hot Rod. Uh, would you like to do Titan's questions or Hot Rod's questions first? I'll do the Hot Rod ones first. All right. Hot Rod is going first. Matthew, were you good at math by any chance? Um, Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> oh, God. 
Can you calculate knockout math? Yeah, I can try. I can try. Okay. So <laughs> I'll take I'll take the hot rod questions. And if we get in trouble somewhere in the middle here, um okay. I'll just we'll just you'll just do like a thing. Alex, all right. So we're gonna do hot rod. <laughs> I hope they keep all this in. Um <laughs> Uh, your first question in Hot Rod. How much does Rod charge for jumping the swimming pool? I've, I've spent a lot of time on camera for this and other channels. I'm always so visibly uncomfortable <laughs> when it comes to like doing the, the, the bit where it's like adding i'm bad at this is like the one thing okay. and speaking uh oh god we're gonna go five four three two one pens are down for two points we will go to dylan two dollars per person and jacob for one two dollars two dollars is correct second question what weapon do rod and frank use when fighting in the basement. Can I get a clarification? I can try. Is this the first or second fight? Has anyone here seen Hot Rod? Um, I think this is the... I have I'm pretty seen... sure it's the first. I think if, it's I, the first. if it's the answer, okay. that I think it is. Think we will look at it. If I have but... to buy the movie, I'll be really upset. But... Um, do your best and then you can challenge we have a challenge that's totally acceptable we're gonna go in five four three two one pens are down for two points we'll go to dylan rhodesian fighting sticks and jacob for one point it's either those or the ninja stars we have rhodesian fighting sticks you can challenge if you want it's totally available on the board okay i'm gonna challenge and we are back from the challenge. As it turns out, the correct answer that we had was correct. But also the answer that Jacob had was correct. This was agreed to by a few different people. Uh, I haven't seen the movie, but the people that have seen the movie have all agreed that while the Rhodesian fighting sticks were used by both parties, uh, someone, both people, actually also used ninja stars toward each other. That'd be cool. I understand that. Uh, so as it turns out, Jacob will get his point and will keep his challenge. Then will also receive the two points. And he didn't challenge, so he's probably going to be fine. He also has a challenge. Um, as we move on, third question. Rico explains a dream he had where he was in a castle fighting 1,000 what? This is the oldest argument, but like, would you rather fight 100 horse-sized uh, <laughs> horse ducks? Or... <laughs> no, we can't. I hate it here. <laughs> this is the problem with hosting like 70 shows like a year is that like you eventually you just run out of jokes because like mm -hmm. you need to sleep at some point um this is why i honestly i was going to take a break but then they were like no you're hosting <laughs> <laughs> that was my kirk impression by the way oh, yeah. five spot four, on yes <laughs> three two one uh pens are down dylan for two points wizards and Jacob for a point. And then the wizard wives came out wanting to fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Wizards is the correct answer. Uh, fourth question. Rod's mom reveals that Rod's father wasn't a stuntman, but had what occupation? Are you, are you like a D and D guy, kind of guy, Matthew? I am not. I've never played. I don't think I'm uh, creative enough to, uh, to participate. Hey, okay, hang on. What do you mean you're not creative enough? <laughs> you, you, you don't like. Not every D and D character has to be like some bullshit, like Wolverine thing. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is a. This is a sad. These are my sad DM noises. Um, <laughs> someone's like, no, I couldn't do that. I think you can. You're going to be all right. You're going to be fine. We're gonna, we'll find you a game. All right. We're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. Dylan, four, two. A cashier at a tire shop. And Jacob, for one. This is a cashier at a supermarket. I have cashier at a 
tire shop as the correct answer. So I cannot give you those points. Uh, Dylan will be receiving the two points. Um, who's getting arrested out of the three of you? Yeah, that's, that's from my... Okay. <laughs> Who li you live in a sketchy area. That's cool, man. Um, <laughs> all right. So, so far, Dylan has nearly swept this round. Just one question left in Hot Rod uh, before we switch over to Satan, because I think we still need those questions. Fifth question. Before the news report about Rod's final jump, the news talks about a dog that did three things. Name one of them. Uh, speaking of, just to like hype it up, we actually, the two of us hosts, have a fandom match coming up. And the worst thing about fandom is sometimes they ask you questions about like multiple things. And I can never keep track of how many things I'm supposed to put. So uh -huh. <laughs> I have to figure out a way around that. Do you have any suggestions? I think uh, ask for a repeat. Okay. That is what I have done previously. I was hoping yeah. for something cooler. Like, I don't know. Just have a strong memory, bro. That'd be really dope. If you could just be good. All right. That's fine. We'll get back to it. It's way better. It's fine. Four, three, two, one. Pens are down. Uh, Dylan, for the sweep. He ate a pizza. And Jacob. Uh, both of those are acceptable answers. Uh, walked itself home, ate a pizza, and took a nap. Uh, so, um, two, four, six, eight, ten. I have the score right now at five to 17. Yes, that's what I have. All right. So these questions are going to matter as we get to... Titan. Every question, <laughs> Every question might be data. It isn't though. Um, all right, Matthew, will you please take these questions? Yeah, I will take these. Hopefully, pronunciation is all right. So, your first question: At the car show, Alexia is wearing a jacket that has what animal on the back? Jacob, that is the that is the face of a man that <laughs> was not aware of how deep we go here at Ontal Singles. <laughs> that, that, that was exactly the face of someone was not expecting to answer. I'm just remembering the scene and remembering what the fuck am I watching while I'm watching this movie? <laughs> oh, how, how many mice danced in the background as whatever happened? What? Five, four, three, two. One pens are down for two points. Jacob, I said a tiger, and Dylan, a lion. A lion is correct. All right. Matthew, <laughs> are you doing the math? I got to make sure that, like, the yep, math is doing okay math. Yep, before yep, I move on to yep. the next question. Uh. <laughs> okay, I, I'm just going to... All right. Give me a reason for watching this movie. Come on. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. You're fine. I think, I think he's still... He's still in it. I think he's, he's still, still in it. it. Yeah, yeah. You're still in. Just, I feel like... After each question, I'm just gonna be like, soon. no, it, it's time. it's definitely like, if if this if this continues, it will be soon. Okay. Your second question. After making out with coworker Justin, Alexia wears it, her shirt that has what phrase written on it? I want to say it's Justine, actually, but yeah, it is. I, yeah, I was, in in the doc it says Justin. I'm pretty sure there's no. It's Justine. So just want to clarify. God, writers, be better <laughs> at your research, like your deeply researched questions. Not gonna lie, this is not the Justine question that I could come with you yet. <laughs> I'm gonna go in five, four, three, two, 
one. Repeat, please. That is Jacob's first of three repeats. All right, uh, your first repeat. After making out with coworker Justine, Alexia wears her shirt that has what phrase written on it? Have you done the math on what question? Is this it? Not yet. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just... New new rule. One person has to be good at math on the table. <laughs> that'll that'll help me not. It's my first time though. hosting, so you know I don't have. I a... should be better at this part, <laughs> but I have decided that to specifically not improve this part. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. Uh, for two points, we go to Jacob. On the, so it's a it's a blue and hot pink shirt, and it glows in the dark when Alexia is about to burn it when she actually burns the house down. So just go with it. No. And we go to Dylan for a point. Never give up. Never give up is correct. Shout out to my main man, John Cena, <laughs> who's here with me right now. Where? Oh, I can't see him. Shit. Yeah, that's bad. Sorry, I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> okay, wait. This is me messaging out a later. I think that. that might be a knockout, but I will. Oh, what? Okay. Before we, well, just, we have. I think that miss might be, but. Uh... Wait, so, which qu number question was wait, that? No, this is, this is question. No, 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 no. Not this yet, is, not that yet. was question two. Not yet. So, okay. I think this question will decide not yet, if this because is a knockout. It yeah, you need good. to be so 10, you can... he needs he needs the potentiality of having ten points mm -hmm. of being ten points down. So I think Okay, so So like if he hits all of these and I miss them, he can get six yeah. points okay. closer to me. You're still in, you're still in, but still I just in. want to make sure that just just relax. Don't answer. <laughs> We're gonna ask this question, but it might not be for anything. Uh, we might just be having a good time. Mm -hmm. Your question. Uh third question. <laughs> Your third question in Titan. What object does Alexia use to kill Jerome? Gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down for two points, Jacob. That's the dude she shows the stool down his throat, right? And Dylan. Not sure the exact name of what this is called. Is it a fire poker? A fire poker is correct. And unless my math is mistaken, uh I think that might be it. I think so. Yeah. Uh, Matthew, want to double check just in case? Just uh, sure. Yes, let me double check. Oh, Honrod is still playing in the background. That's crazy. Yeah. That would be right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's okay. it. All right. So, and your winner by way of knockout, Dylan Van Thine. Uh, Dylan takes it in round number two on just an amazing game played. Uh, well done. Well done to both players. Uh, we're going to get uh, Mr. West out of here for just one second as we talk to today's winner. Dylan moving on to an impressive 1-0 and start here. Getting the knockout, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. I believe this is actually this is my first knockout, I think, in any capacity so far. So I'm happy about that. Uh, I do feel bad for Jacob. Like The, the questions just kind of didn't really go his way this this time so and i also feel bad for making him watch my movie but uh yeah i had a good time this i mean good. from what i understand Titan is a perfectly acceptable film uh <laughs> he does have a lot of kids so i don't know when he would have found the time to watch it but you know what that's not your that's not your that's not your problem he knew what he was signing up for probably 
Uh, he knew he could have watched some 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 absurd stuff. Um, <laughs> but anyway, congratulations. Um, it's a strong start. Uh, we're not super familiar with you yet, but I understand you're going to be making your mark here uh, in the coming months, especially if you keep playing like that. Uh, is there anybody you want to be seeing down the line? Ooh, uh, anyone, really. I know it's a boring answer, but... <laughs> Then yeah. there's nothing wrong with boring answers. Um, <laughs> honestly, it's the exciting ones that you have to like back up. You just play anybody; it'll be fine. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah congratulations! A knockout, very exciting. Uh, is is this? Are the movie choices going to continue on this track? Are we going to get like Titan and like what? Girl, like, is this going to be your? Is this your genre? Are you like a like the we'll neon see. demon? Is this going to be like the bit? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Neon Demon, but who knows? We'll see. I mean, just an example. if it's okay. someone who I know likes that movie, then probably not. But yeah, maybe I'll switch things up and pay like one of the SpongeBob movies next time. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, we're going to be good friends. Um, <laughs> all right. So congratulations, Dylan. Uh, we'll talk to you here soon. All right. And bringing in today's unwinner is how I'm going to say it. Uh, what's happening, Papa? Which it's okay. You you could call me a loser. Um, I, do that. I I've grown pretty thick skin uh, with with everything that's happened in the last year and a half. So I can take being called a loser. I wouldn't. Uh, the fact that I had to watch the Tane made I'm not gonna say made me a loser, but the fact that when when it got thrown in the chat and I was like, oh hey, Spence misspelled Titan AE. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. That that's what makes me a loser. I'm eighty percent sure that's not how that's that how the ton is pronounced. I'm like eighty percent sure. But you know what? I don't know. I didn't see it, so it doesn't matter. I don't know if they say it in, out loud in the movie. Oh, um, they didn't say it at all. It's, but it's but just... Titan AE is a animated movie that came out in like two thousand. I also didn't see it. So you yeah. know what? It's, if it's not in Geek, there's like an eighty percent chance I didn't see it. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, the questions didn't go your way today. But like, it's okay, because. Sometimes that happens. I've lost here before. Um, it was really embarrassing for me. But like, I think you should be like happy because you tried. And I think that's really important. Um, you chose Hot Rod. And that's a movie that I'm told some people enjoy. And that's really important too. So, you know, Papa, I'm just, I'm glad to see you because we, I don't, I'm not allowed to play at TMG anymore. So we don't really ever get to see each other. I mean, we never saw each other there either. But like, it's just good, man. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Stepping outside your comfort zone and just doing something new. I think that's great. Um, yeah, what do you want to do next? Like, is it over to Geek or like staying in singles and just like yeah, rocking yeah. out? You know, I, I try to get into Geek, uh, but I don't know if it's you or David. Just one of you doesn't like me and won't let me compete. Um, so hopefully I'll, I'll f figure out what's going on there. Yeah. Um, I'll talk I'm, to him. I'm going to touch him right now, man. <laughs> yeah. David, what what in the world? Um, yeah. I I enjoy uh, winning, and I enjoy getting my ass kicked. So it doesn't matter where I'm thrown in, because I'm gonna have the time of my life. Cool, that's a great song too. All right, we'll see you soon, man. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's good to see him. All right, Matthew, that was the game. I don't really know how to talk to people. It's been a very long, like eight years since COVID started, or however long. I'm bad at math, as I have previously yeah. said. I hope they edit none of that out. I hope all the math stuff stays in. Just stay just, in school. Yeah, give it in. Yeah. <laughs> stay in school. All right. Um, yeah. Welcome to hosting Ontel stuff. Hopefully Thank next you time you'll have a better me. partner. Yeah. Um, so for everybody, the, that was Dylan. That was uh Jacob E. West, as I have uh variously fucked up. Uh that was Matthew Chen. My name was Alex. Uh for everyone here at Ontel. Uh stay inside, stay safe, get a vaccine. Um pet dogs punch nazis that's important um maybe in that order because like that probably releases a lot of like happy chemicals in people's heads um drink water it's getting warmer out in some places so uh be working on that bod be working on that bod and uh just like get some sun all right all right bye guys bye guys like like goodbye